Hey guys, Kingdom Hearts 1126 here, and today I'm going to show you some of my GameStop dumpster dive finds. Um, I just want to say something about my previous video. I don't know, I got two dislikes on it so far. People, I guess, think it's fake, but it really is the truth. I just found it laying there, and two games next to it. So, tonight, I went back to my same location. Um, and all the same trash was there from when I found this Xbox. And if you saw in my previous video, there was a smashed Xbox there, but I didn't have enough room to grab it. Since all the previous trash was there, that was still there. So I picked it up, and it's right here. I tested it, and it works. Um, of course, it's really, really badly smashed. And I guess there's no external hard drive. I don't know, I don't own the X I never owned an Xbox, so I don't know where the hard drive goes. But I used my cousin's cords. I just tested it out like a half hour ago as soon as I found it. And it works. Um I couldn't find where the eject button was, because you know, it's like all over the place. So I couldn't open the disc tray. It was opening now. Um power buttons right here. Worked flawlessly. Um uh, I didn't get to plug a controller into it because I couldn't find one. Uh, it already had an account on it, of course. So I didn't get to see what preloaded games it might have had on it. Hey guys, Kingdom Hearts 1126 here. And I just went back to the same GameStop that I went to on Tuesday and found the working Xbox. And I picked up this beaten one. Plugged it in, and it works. Of course, it's very beaten up, but I can still hit the power button. And I can still, you know, plug in the power. I don't have a controller right now to check out what games it has preloaded, but it does work. Um, if I can find where the eject button is, and I can eject, eject it and try and see. Let's see. Alright, well, it does work, and I guess all I have to do is buy a new case. So, because again, this one had um, Minecraft and Terraria and some other games on it as well. Uh... So, um, I got two working Xboxes now from the same spot and the same, well, not the same day technically, but it would have been the same day had I picked this up. Some other finds I got. Well, I picked up this piece to put back on this Xbox, wherever it goes. Um, oh, wait, yeah. First thing I found right off the bat was these posters. They were sticking right out of a bag. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. So, right here we got Persona Dancing All Night posters. Four of them. Four? Five. I've got five of them. There you go. Persona Dancing All Night posters. They're in pretty good condition. Th this is literally a thing I first saw. It was literally sticking right out of a bag. So I picked that up. And... Basically, the last item I found was this um, Sword Art and Line book. It says Nerve Gear Special Version Volume Three. It came with the game Sword Art and Line Lost Song, which I believe is for the PS Vita. Not sure. Um, I guess this book came limited edition or something with the game. Uh, pretty cool book. Unless this is just the guide. Shows you the characters. Again, the characters, um, equipment, like bathing suits. <laughs> uh, hmm. Some, I don't, not really sure what this is. Screenshots. The Allo Times. So, uh, again, this is pretty cool. Line. Um, Nerve Gear look from Sword Out in Line, the Lost Song. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what you would like to see in the future. And I can probably make it happen. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, out of words. This week has been a great week in terms of fines. And now I know that I should probably pick up the broken ones. Um, you know, because this GameStop does smash Xboxes. I witnessed it. 
um, with my own eyes. They just put it on the ground, take a big pipe or bat, and smash it to smithereens. But this one, they didn't do too bad. And this one, they completely forgot, somehow. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And look out for more videos in the future, because I'll be definitely picking up broken ones just to see if they work. Bye-bye!